going on action takers what's going on are you ready uh for this webinar the importance of community to begin to start taking action and building better relationships inside the, the community um i do would like to welcome each and every one um that are here today that joined in to the importance of community webinar and so i would like to know are you happy and i am so happy to have joined you today and for you to join me here on this webinar so that we can learn and grow from one another now if we have not met my name is LJ and I'm your supportive friend. And I would like to say I am so thankful for the opportunity to help you improve your health by improving your relationships in many different aspects. If you have any questions during our time together, please feel free to post them and I will do my best to respond quickly. Um, I do like to say um, the importance of community is dear to me. Uh, is is this topic right here is important because I know what a community can do for an individual. Uh, because I grew up as an individual who felt alone, unappreciated, unsupported. Uh, and didn't really have a community that I could go to, friends to who I can rely on. And looking for a place to go to, but couldn't find it. They didn't know how to connect. And that brought about insecurities in my life where it allowed me to become this introvert that I had to overcome and I'm still overcoming today. And so just being here today, uh, it really is a challenge. It really is a challenge, but I am willing to step out there and embrace my new normal and reaching out and being a part of the community. And that's why I love the next opportunity window because uh, I understand the importance of community and what it can do in an individual life. And so I would like to say, if you're that individual who felt the way how I felt, you're right now in that place. You feel alone. You feel unappreciated. You feel un undervalued, overlooked. You feel like you can't go nowhere and go to anyone for help. I would like to know, I would like to let you know here at Nest Opportunity Window, you have that supportive person that been through what you're going through right now, who's still learning how to overcome, how to connect with individuals and share my story. Because we all have a story, but a lot of us, um, don't know how to speak and and express ourselves to people because of every reason. A lot of times, because we could be in our own head at the same time. And so, I would like to say, let's get started. Let's see what we can learn today on the importance of community. I would like to say too often we focus on mental illness when discussing mental health. Mental health, it also includes your overall emotional and mental well-being, which includes both positive and negative elements. 
just as your physical health needs ongoing care, measures can be taken to improve your positive mental health as well as by nourishing our mental health we can handle stress more effectively recover from setbacks more quickly sleep better and heal faster there are many ways to boost mental health through self-care and me and my wife always talking about self-care on the podcast because we understand it's very important to love yourself. And a lot of times in our community, the black and brown community, we don't love ourselves. And that's why we look to women or we look to men or, or we can't be alone. And we, you, we get in from one relationship into another relationship because maybe um, we was abandoned. Maybe we didn't feel that love from our our father or our mother and we searching from somewhere, searching somewhere for the love that we deserve because everyone want to be loved and everyone deserves to be loved. But can I tell you something today? It starts with you. Before anyone can love you, before you can find that perfect mate, that perfect man, that perfect woman, that that find that community. You got to begin loving yourself. You got to begin to take care of yourself and value yourself. You got to know that you 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 can do whatever you put your mind to. But you got to see the worth in yourself. You got to see it in yourself. You got to see the value that you deserve it. You know, I get, I can tell you, um, one of my favorite scriptures um, in the Bible when G, when when Jesus was talking about that um, you are more valuable than the sparrows in the air. But if you don't see your value, you don't see that you are worthy. Then guess what? You will still be living in misery and still be feel defeated. But today we're going to love ourselves. Today we're going to see our worth. Today we're going to we're going to we're going to see that we can accomplish whatever we put our mind to. But we first going to start with loving us. And that's why I'm so excited that you are here today because this is the first step. You being in this community you being on this webinar sh sh shows that you care about your growth. You care about you. And so through self-care and practicing mindfulness, because mindfulness is everything. Another scripture I love, um, the, the uh, Dirk John said, uh, beloved brethren, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. So your mind had to prosper first. Your mind, you had to, you had to practice daily the right mindset. You had to practice the right mindset. You had to see your work. You had to see that you're valuable. Because if you don't see your worth, you don't see your mind will continue to play tricks on you. You will always say, no, I love you. Or you will always feel under value. But we're going to break that today. However, today, we will discuss the power of connecting to our community of friends and family to maintain positive mental health. Mental health influence so many aspects of our daily life from how we think, feel, and behave. Your mental state also affects the ability to cope with stress, overall challenges, build relationships, and recover from life setbacks and hardship. There are plenty of things you can do to take control of your mental health. 
starting with building strong relationships. So I'd like to ask you, and what when you come into this community, are you engaging with everyone inside the community? Do you comment and and and, and, and on the on the content inside the community? Do you respond? to other people's challenges and posts. That's building strong relationships. Just by commenting and and, 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 and engaging on somebody else's post and helping and adding value to somebody else is in building strong relationships. It, it, it allowing people to see that you are you are alive, you are there, you are for them. Good mental health isn't just the absence of mental health problems. Mental health ref, mental health refers to the presence of positive characteristics rather than being free of depression, anxiety, or other psychological issues. Characteristics of positive mental health includes contentment, the ability to laugh and have fun, the ability to bounce back from adversity, a sense of meaning and purpose, flexibility to learn new things and adapt to change, the presence of self-confidence, now I would like to ask you, do you see yourself in one of those areas? Because if you see yourself in one of those areas, that's great because now you can begin to start working on overcoming in those areas that you're struggling with so that you could continue and, and begin to build good relationships. Continue to interact in your environment with your peers. Because in today's tech-driven world, it's easy to forget the importance of personal relationships. The Mental Health Foundation defines relationships as the way in which two or more people are connected or the state of being connected. Investing in building and maintaining good relationships is crucial for achieving positive mental health. By doing this, we're strengthening our own mental health and help others grow too. People who are socially connected to the community of family and friends are happier, physically healthier, taking part in close relationships, can give us a purpose and a sense of belonging that will positively impact our mental health. The Mental Health Foundation completed a review of 148 studies on health and social relationships. In their findings, they concluded that a lack of social relationships could be just as debilitating to health as smoking, physical inactivity, and obesity. The organization urges physicians, health professionals, and educators to take social relationships as seriously as other risk factors when it comes to prevention of illness. A study by Harvard University followed over 700 participants in an attempt to determine what makes us happy. Key results reported that happiness and health aren't a, aren't a result of wealth, fame, or working hard, but come instead from our relationships. The company of others is essential to our well-being. We are social creatures with emotional needs. 
for relationships and positive connections to others. We need connection. We feed on relationships. We are emotional creatures. Without them, that is where our mental, physical, and emotional well-being can be damaged. Even if we are shy or untrusting of others, like myself, I am very shy. I, I, I am, I am, uh, I always say I'm an introvert, extrovert. I am, I am an introvert until I get comfortable and, 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 and feel um, welcome and, and comfortable to speak. Even speaking, um, I get nervous, I get shy until I get comfortable. And then you'll start seeing me loosen up. Our brain craves companionship. And nothing can beat the stress, busting, mood boosting, power of quality, face-to-face -face time with other people. Social media and phone calls are a great way to stay in touch with friends and family, but in-person connections are crucial to maintaining positive mental health.